This is how we make the moonshine. All right, this is when the fun starts. I wasn't thinking. I probably should have backed in, but. Well. It'd be all right. We need the cardio. After all the work and all the worry and finally getting some water flowing back in this spring, now me and bees can get down to business. We're off to the races making single malt rye. And we're gonna be around the clock on this one. We're making 500 gallons of mash today in two stills, Big Sloppy and one of the twins. We'll get the water pumping, get Sloppy filled up. You know, when we got this order, we had two weeks to deliver it. But now with all the setbacks, we've got six days to get this order together. At this point, we're down to zero days that we can spare. It. Every day has got to count and it's got to be efficient. Bees is fixing to turn our pump on. We'll see what that filter actually did to this water. We're coming straight out of our totes. Now it's not gin clear, but it's pretty dead gum close. Oh, hey Digger, come here, man. Hello. Good, good. Uh, I'm out here working on your order right now, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I was just making sure that we would have it before the show. Oh, you will. We're right on track with it, right on schedule. OK, and, and so it'll be there day of show? Yes. Shoot, yeah. All right, thanks, Bees. I'll, I'll talk to you soon, then? Yeah, yeah, I'll holler back at you right away. OK. All right. We're right on time. Uh, my theory is don't let the customer know the trials and tribulations. Just tell them, it's great, it's rosy. We got water boiling now. We got no time to spare, so we got to get this completed. We got to get this liquor to Nashville and make her sale. All right, we'll go check the twin. Yipper. Mash number two. To have a safety belt, we've got produce over 60 gallons of liquor. I'm going to be happier close to 70, but that being said, anything under that jeopardizes this order. You know, it's for 250 jars, not 249 jars. That's the limestone water and feel how cold it is. Dang. That's what we needed. We get them all down to temperature by adding a little more cold water. We have to help it come down to temperature where it's safe to pitch your yeast and it doesn't kill it. We've got water established. We've got Mash made times two. We got both these still sweetened in and ready to ferment. And if everything goes good, in about five days, we'll be running this liquor. You know, we can't afford for anything else to get in our way on this. Falls are coming, we know it. A 50 degree night could slow us down tremendously. I am glad to get this done. Good job, buddy. Oh, I'm running. Hey, Digger, I'm running, buddy. Good. All right. That's what we need. This is what we've worked so hard for. Oh, yeah, we're hot to right here. We'll be hotted up and ready to go in no time. That's beautiful. Bees, I got liquor. Nice. You know, now, back in the day, we would make maybe one run and get six or eight cases of rye whiskey. Nobody wanted it except for very few people. Now, when it comes to what's happening in today's market, it's on the upswing. Everybody's coming in. They're wanting different types of rise. Catch you a little dose. Right off the worm. Nose it. That's amazing. That's as good a rye whiskey as you'll ever taste. Wow. It's got to be there before 4 o'clock on Saturday. And we've got to jar up 250 jars. We've got to put the toasted chips in each bag and then in every jar. Then make the three and a half hour drive to Nashville. Bees, 72 gallons. That should finish us up, latch that and up. From this point on, everything's got to work perfectly or the sale is done. Let's go tell our wives how hard we work and stuff like that. Let's go tell them how much more we're going to work. Tonight's chip night. I can't stress to you enough, time is of the essence. Oh, I know. Right now, we're tempering this liquor, getting it in the jars, stuffing these little bags of toasted oak chips in there. We're going to finish the job, get it loaded up, and uh, head toward Nashville with not a minute to spare. Well, didn't she say she wanted 100 proof on the money? Yep. All right. Well, I'm going to bring the money. 
you know, this is a madhouse. I'm tempering liquor and jarring it up, and Bees is making the little aging bombs. I mean, Bees, you're going to step it up. I mean, you've got a lot of minutes. I mean, it's just an assembly line with not enough assemblers. Wow, they're already changing some color in there. That's why they call it rapid aging, Bees. In about six months, it'll be deep, dark. That in six is... more months, it'll be even darker. But I think people would love to see that stage of it. Well, of course they would. You put two in that one, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've always rapid aged liquor, but I've done it in bigger vessels with chips. Well, we'll just make a smaller little bag of chips and put one in each jar. This is basically just a marketing ploy. It's like a home beer kit. It's involving them in the process. And then they can wait to when they want to drink it. All right, there's 20 cases. Now, we've got to get loaded up, these. The end is in sight. We're right now 30 minutes late. We are fixing to head out on the road. If we get there in time, this will be an absolute touchdown for us. And this makes 20. Uh, let's get the tarp over it. You know, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that there is no traffic, no construction between here and Nashville. We'll get locked up and get with it. Okay. Because well, that can hold you up bare minimum of 30 minutes. We don't have 30 minutes to spare, so we're gonna get in this van, we're gonna put it in the wind. Tell me we do not need gas. Not at this point, but we'll get this liquor delivered, then we'll worry about gas. Her meet and greet starts at four o'clock. Yeah, and I mean, look right there, what time does it tell us that GPS says we can get there in this traffic? 4.15. This is a VIP event that we're making this liquor for. They're gonna have these swag bags ready to pass out when these folks come through with railing. If she don't have these jars of liquor in the bags, they ain't worth a damn to these folks and her either one. And if we could have finished this up yesterday, we'd have been more comfortable. Oh, I know. But digger, we work till we drop, man. Bees. Look, look what just happened. We it went to Central it. Time. Well, oh, we've man. got plenty of time. Dang. <laughs> now I feel like a total dumbass. Golly. <sighs> we have just been strung out worrying about the logistics on getting this done. We totally forgot that coming from the Smoky Mountains to Nashville, we gain a freaking hour. I've never been so happier to be stupid. <laughs> it has never worked out in my favor. Digger, we made it here. Well, we hadn't made, we've made it to Nashville. We haven't made it to the venue yet. Give us a few minutes. We're pulling into the Nashville area, and it's like Dorothy and them making it to Oz. We see the finish line. Close, close call, tough fought battle, but Digger and I have come out ahead again. We Hi. apologize hey, for the lady. Hey, buddy. How are you doing, man? JB. Digger, good to nice meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Man, sorry we cut it so close, guys. So, dude, it's showbiz. Nothing ever starts on time here. You know that. I, I so do know that. Well, anyway. Guys, you see what we've uh, got mm -hmm. for this you. This is outstanding. Oh my God! Look at it already. We just we just jarred this up. Six five hours. hours five, yeah, six yeah, hours yeah. Ago. I mean. That right there gives you people ownership in their liquor. Mm. It's beautiful. Shall we taste? Yes. I highly encourage it. Mm. Is that crazy good or what? So crazy good. good. It's been known to make childbirth a pleasure and toothaches go away. 